it seems as though those hopes are being dashed. Uh, that would be uh, my reading of it, frankly. Uh, the use of the word debris, the fact they've tweeted this information, uh, which they clearly regard as significant in terms of the public realm. Um, yeah, the word debris doesn't sound good at all. In a situation and at a depth where the water pressure is huge, 38 bar, I mean, that's... That's many times the pressure inside your car tire. It can do considerable damage to vessels the like of the Titan, you know, on the seabed 4,000 metres down. So should the worst have happened to the Titan, and we don't know if that's the case yet, that's to be confirmed. But should the worst have happened and that vessel was subject, was broken up somehow by the pressures at that depth, then the word debris would absolutely fit that worst-case scenario. There is due to be a news conference. I'm outside the, uh, the Coast Guard Command Centre here in Boston. We expect to hear from them publicly on the record sometime soon. But this news uh, doesn't sound good. It reads in a very dark way. The detail presumably will be fleshed out in time. And indeed, they are still analysing what has been found. This is a day, remember, when two remotely operated vehicles were sent into the depths, to the search area, following the path line of the Titan. So today, really for the first time, they had the proper kit available to them, the proper kit with camera and sonar capabilities that would have enabled searchers to look effectively for the Titan. Uh, and on that day, they have discovered what they describe as debris. But, you know, the details are yet to be confirmed. We don't know what that debris is and what the significance of that news bulletin from the Coast Guard is. That will be confirmed in due course, but it doesn't look good.